Get ready for the greatest honest trailer competition of all time. Michael Keaton's Batman versus Christopher Reeve's Superman. Two honest trailers, one epic showdown. Stay tuned until the end of the trailer to see how you can determine the winner. Now, get ready for Superman the Movie. In a world where comic book movies have become dark and grim, return to the superhero film full of fun, optimism, bright colors, and camp. That's a bad outfit! Whoa. Maybe a little too much camp. Bad vibrations? Okay, okay, we get it already. Superman the Movie. Suit up for the superhero classic that proved that even in 1978, Superman still couldn't get top billing in his own movie. Instead, he placed third banana to stars Gene Hackman, who refused to shave his head to play Lex Luthor, and Marlon Brando, who producers were too scared to tell that he was mispronouncing Krypton. You are the only survivor of the planet Krypton. Planet Krypton. Planet Krypton. 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 Yeah, you got it wrong, but would you correct the Godfather? Christopher Reeve is pitch perfect as Superman, a flying Jesus metaphor who is sent to Earth in a Christmas tree ornament. I have sent them you, my only son. He's a buff Boy Scout, here to fight for truth, justice, and the American way. I'm here to fight for truth and justice and the American way. That's what I said. Who is so fun to watch, you'll ignore the fact that he's kind of a dork. Hi and a super buzzkill. You really shouldn't smoke, you know, Miss Lane. Who's so dumb, he gives away his origin and weaknesses in an interview. I sort of have a problem seeing through lead. He can't see through lead. But who cares, because he'll always be my Superman, okay? Look, up in the sky, it's love, as Superman meets his match in Lois Lane, a superstar writer struggling against her inability to spell. How many T's in bloodletting? How do you spell massacre? There's only one P in rapist. What kind of story is she working on? It's with sex, it's got violence, it's got the ethnic angle. Seriously, what the hell is she writing? She's a perfectly sane person, with a perfectly insane rhyming inner monologue. You can fly. Belong in the sky. Watch as she tries to bang the super hot alien by trading thinly veiled dirty talk. Did you have a girlfriend? If I did, Miss Lane, you'd be the first to know about it. I assume then that the the rest of your bodily functions are normal. What color underwear am I wearing? Pink. In a conversation so steamy, Superman will turn back time to save her when she dies in an earthquake. <laughs> Hey, Soups, I know she was your girlfriend, but a couple more spins could have undone the entire earthquake. Saved a few lives, billions of dollars of property damage, but I get it, you're into pink. I like pink very much, Lois. Strap in as Superman faces off with his nemesis, Lex Luthor, a criminal super genius who dresses like Andre 3000. Watch as this infamous super criminal challenges the Man of Steel with an overly complicated plot that involves using missiles and earthquakes to destroy California so that he can turn a bunch of desert property purchased into beachfront real estate. Pasta del Lex. Dude, if I wanted to see an industrialist with a bad wig talk about real estate, I'd watch the presidential debates. <laughs> Am I right? Zing! Uh. So return to the movie that pioneered the tropes comic book movies have been following ever since, like setting up sequels, unnecessary origin stories for popular characters, shoehorning in comic book lingo, this fortress of solitude, using time travel to fix your mistakes, destroying famous landmarks, and sky beams. Dad, are you still talking about that old Superman movie? What are you doing down here? Go bother your mom. I think it's so boring. The new Superman has super cool fight scenes. This one has tons of action too. Let's see, there's... <sighs> oh, thank you. Uh, well, what about... Come on. Here you go, miss. Holy crap, there aren't any fights in this whole movie. Also, it looks dumb when your Superman flies. New Superman looks totally awesome when he flies. Look, in 1978, these special effects were awesome, okay? And hey, at least my Superman didn't kill anyone. Actually, I really appreciated Cal's value for life being something he has to earn by being forced to take one. As a pantheon of American pulp culture, Superman should evolve to reflect society for what it is, not what we wish it was. Just get the f*** out of my booth! Starring Friendly Cavill, White Rashida Jones, 
Jesse Eisenberg Sr., Peter Parker, and the God's Father, Fun Man of Steel. Was it necessary to see baby Superman's bait and tackle? You've seen Superman defeat Lex Luthor. Now click the box above to see Batman take on the Joker in this epic competition between two honest trailers. Are you Team Superman or Team Batman? We'll determine a winner based on the only thing that really matters, views. If the Cape Crusader gets more views, we'll make an honest trailer for Batman Begins. If the Man of Steel dominates, we'll do one for Superman Returns. So click on the box above to see the honest trailer for Batman 89. And be sure to watch and share because the fate of Batman and Superman are in your hands. Give me more than one slice of banana bread or I will lose all control. One batch, two batch, penny and dime. Hey everyone, stop the Planet of the Apes, I want to get off. Fire the manatee cannon. Batman hates Superman because he stole his guacamole. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? 